Hello! Thanks for joining me for another beer review then. We've got a German beer for the first time in a fair few months and uh, continuing the theme of uh, some German beers that I really did enjoy. Uh, probably September, uh, early October of 2020 and then things happened in my life. Um, I've not been back to them since so it's time. Um, so I'm probably almost certainly going to butcher this uh, beer brewery's name up. Anyway, it's from... Here we go. Apologies, um, but you, you'll get the gist. And I'll put the correct spelling below and you can look it up for yourself. They're out of Bayern then, in Bavaria, in southern Germany. And it's there from uh, Geringlich Brian House... Uh, Bra I'm butchering that up already. Uh, Brauhaus to Guernsey. As you can see, it's their Max I Joseph uh, export beer or a Dortmund stroke export lager. And it's coming in at 5.2% ABV. As I said, they're out of Bayern in southern Germany. Um, so, yeah, interesting one. A Dortmund stroke export lager. Um, so it's a 500ml bottle, really nice, um, fancy something to, like just to cleanse the palate, I've had a few IPAs just now, um, but yeah, so there's the crown, so it's a new one on me, I've not had anything from this brewery before, um, how many beers do they do, they do 9 beers, they've got 9 beers listed on untapped, um, they're going to be all, I would imagine, in the traditional German style uh, of lager. Um, let's have a quick look here. Um, they do a Helles, a Special, uh, this one, uh, a Dunkel Export, a Pils, uh, a Bock or du Double Bock, and another Helles, and a Hell Bock or My Bock, and a Calabir, Celebir. So. Big thanks to my, my good friend Jim. He brought the Mealy's round about early December, second week of December. I've had them in the fridge since then. Um, he might have been further ago than that because he's brought me a couple of beer packages round. It probably was more um, in, dis in November, um, to be honest with you. But yeah, check out the label. Pretty damn cool. You can tell it's got a bit of age kind of... Uh, yeah pretty awesome stuff. Anyway, let's crack it open then. Um, I'll try not to uh, describe or to say the brewery's name again during the review. A little bit of smoke, nothing crazy. I want that bottle cap. It looks pretty good. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to this. Um, a traditional German export beer. There we go, we'll get it all in there. So a 500 ml bottle, the usual. It's a beer in a glass, as you can see, clean as a whistle. Uh, three quarters of white head, on top of a nice kind of a uh, very clean looking uh, lager. Gentle carbonation, lemony, you know, that kind of strawy colour. So yeah, uh, enough about the brewery then, because um, all the all the links will be down below for the brewery, whatever social outlets they have. Um, are they on? Yeah, so they've obviously got a website. So let's go back here one, and then we'll see. Anyway, aroma. Yeah, it, it smells very clean, very uh, very refreshing. I've only got a website, so. We'll, we'll see about that. There's only a less website li listed on Untap, so yeah, very kind of grainy, as you would expect for the style of beer. It's got that kind of lovely whiff, lemon, wheat almost. Yeah, that lovely lagering kind of element to the, the aroma it's, it's well in there I, I just want to crack into it it's, it's, it's going to be great I could just tell it's got that aroma of quality for the style so anyway 
Cheers. Cheers, Jim. Appreciate it, mate. Yeah. Nice bit of white pepper spice going on in there. Crackery. Kind of malt build. Very refreshing, very clean, very smooth. Mm. Oh, if all lagers were like this, I would still probably be a lager drinker. Leaving a nice lacing on the glass there. Oh, German lagers. Come on. What a great palate cleanser or first quenching beer if it's in the summer. Very well rounded, very smooth. Hints of uh, grain as I've already said on the aroma, it shines through on the taste. Very crisp, very good beer. Mm. This is absolutely cracking for the style. Hang on, let me just turn, turn that off for a minute. Hi. I didn't realise the uh, the sound was still on there. But yeah, this is uh, this is a fantastic beer. I've never had anything from these guys, um, so they're for. A I can't pronounce it. This is the real problem. Heragonshi, oh, I, I, how many how many different descriptions you want in one video? It's one of them deals. I'll just show you the label, save and embarrass myself. So yeah, that. What a fantastic introduction. Pardon me to the brewery. Look at that uh, that building background. I assume is uh, based on what the brewery looks like. A lot of these uh, German beers are. It's just so good, but it's so simple, easily made, but down to tradition and no kind of mucking around, but just done to a quality, German quality, you know, no less. And uh, what a fantastic uh, beer this is. It really is. I really appreciate these kind of styles of beer more the more I drink them and... Uh, I think it's having drunk a lot of kind of more mainstream lagers over the years and you try something like this. Okay, they're a little bit more expensive, but oh, come on, they just don't compare. If you're a lager drinker out there and you come across this video, um, try, try some traditional German lagers. Okay, they're a bit more, if you want a bit more taste and flavour, these, the, these are the beers to go for. They really are. I could just neck that. It's one of them beers. If I was in a pub, it's like, come on, neck it. And I had that. I'll be like, do you know what? I might give it a try. There's no chemical kind of... It's not over-carbonated like a lot of these kind of mainstream beers are. Lagers, at least. There's none of that. It's just steady, but more flavour. They're, they're a lot more sessionable. You're still getting your hit at 5.2 if that's, if that's your deal. Um, but I don't drink for, for, for ABV and uh, getting drunk anymore. Although it still happens, of course. Um, I drink more for flavour. And uh, if you're a lager drinker, this, this, is, a, this is a fantastic beer. Um, give them a try. Go and give them a try. All the links and stuff are down below. Uh, put all the lists, put all the uh, kind of uh, the brewery and that online. Do a Google search. See where you can get it in the UK. Um, give it a try. That's all I can say. Just go and give it a try for yourself. This is a fantastic beer. So we're going to give it a uh, Max I Joseph, and we'll leave it at that. It's an export Dortmunder style lager out of Bayern in southern Germany. Great stuff. 
So anyway, thanks again to Jim for the beer. Let me know if I've had this one before. Um, I think my good friend Harry has done a review of this about three years ago, four years ago. So go and check that out. Um, do a Google search for that. Thanks for watching. I've got a few more German beers coming up in the next month or so. Um, appreciate you watching. Uh, you all keep safe out there and I'll see you on the next video. Cheers.